Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all. So just a little side, a side thing. We're gonna go check out what we missed in the manual so we can read the backstories to... Well, not all these people because we don't matter because I think only... Actually, I don't think any of these people actually matter, just flavor text. But we can read about Passionate Patty! Passionate Patty knows glamour from the inside out. Part-time undercover agent, part-time jet-setting entertainer, Patty has a leg lock on the two of the most three glamorous jobs in the world according to a recent 10-foot poll. The only position of the top three that Patty can't lay claim to is software designer. Is it any wonder that we chose this leggy, brilliant, multi-talented agent to grace our centerfold this month? We found Patty to be as mysterious as she is beautiful, as enigmatic as she is sexy, as concubitant as she is sesquipedalian. <laughs> Her words, not ours. We'll look those up later. Are those real? She's currently single, good news men, but she's made several veiled references to a man she's called Larry, who clearly means or meant a great deal to her. Fair warning, boys, there may be a little competition here. Their relationship is detailed in computerized form and expose in the unlikely title Leisure Suit Larry 4 The Missing Floppies. Sorry again, but Patty refused to tell us where we could locate this computerable. Not a single software store we had contacted any knowledge of the game. In any case, there were certainly no floppies anywhere to be seen around Patty. <laughs> Hard ons, who eschews the label passionate, even though her sensuality pours forth like milk from a ripe coconut. As a performer, Patty is a multifaceted one person lounge act. She sings, she plays piano, she jokes at the crowd. Having entertained in lounges all across the Northern Hemisphere, Patty's act goes over well with the tourists as it does with the natives. Her act was particularly well received by the owners of the luxurious casino hotel in the South Seas Islands, the fabulous Nun Two Night Resort, where she met her former beau in a torrid tale of danger and romance known as Leisure Suit Larry Three, Passionate Patty in Pursuit of the Pulsating Pectorals. Prior to that, Patty tickled the ivories in a private lounge of the actor. Prior to that, Patty tickled the ivories in the private lounge of the evil Doctor No Nooky, who some agents remember as having connections with the KGB before being defeated by an unknown amateur agent. The earlier connection with the KGB was cause for concern with our fearless leaders at HQ because it was determined that Patty had been completely uninvolved in Doctor No Nooky's secret doings. For those interested in reviewing the facts of the case, reference Leisure Suit Larry 2: Looking for Love in Several Wrong Places. Personally, we prefer to go over Patty's dossier over and over again to remind ourselves of her astounding points. Her introduction to the Bureau is a relatively new development in Patty's life. Her established musical career and her well-documented previous ties to organized crime gave her the perfect cover. At the moment, she's working to help us eradicate corruption in the music industry and a sting operation bound to make headlines. For the time being, boys, keep this operation under wraps. Enough said. Meanwhile, she's made headlines around the place by offices as one of the sexiest babes to ever grace our centerfold. We salute you, Patty. Oh my, and there she is. Her centerfold has been done. That little bob haircut she's wearing. This is so get smart. Look at this. And uh, the gun, very nice. And her waist, which is about one, two, three, four. Yeah, about six inches. It's like a Liefeld drawing. What else is down here? Um, oh, she has a data sheet. Uh, let's see, passionate patty, bust, yes, hasn't you noticed, waist 21, hips 2, weight 122, uh, 5 foot 8, birthplace, what, and endanger the lives of my parents, Carl and Edie, my brothers, Peter and Dick, and every man, woman, and child in Petaluma, whoops, sorry guys, Petaluma, that's, uh, Sonoma County, California, nice. Let's see, to achieve happiness as a, as a famous entertainer, international spy, champion of the American way. Millionaire by age 40, mother to twin geniuses, gourmet cook, lover to a fabulous guy who must naturally be as successful as I am to remain totally stress-free for the rest of my life. Turn-ons include lounge lizards, asparagus tips with melted butter, bananas, snakes, train rides through tunnels, <laughs> watching rockets take off, Washington Monument, people who buy me really expensive gifts. Uh, I can give you expensive gifts. Animated ones, sorry. Overly ambitious people, submissive men, cooking on car engines, going to brisses, people who buy me really expensive gifts and then expect thank you cards. Favorite movies include Brunch of the Living Dead, My Dinner with Ernest, Bonzo goes to Washington, My Two Left Feet, Star Trek Eight, The Wrath of Chaka Khan. <laughs> All right, let's go. One. Favorite actors, Rula Lenska, Carme Carmelita Pope, Carol Merrill, Betty Furness. I don't think these are real people. Are there? Rue Lalenska. Oh, I think they're making puns on actresses' names. So Rue Lalenska, what was she in? Uh, UK actress. Let's see, Footballer's Wives. 
Return of the Saint, Doctor Who. Oh, I think I see what happened here because Carmelita Pope is a real person. I know that name. So I think they just did a typo here on Rula Lenska. It's supposed to be Rula Lenska. Aha, gotcha. So Carol Merrill was a model for the television game show Let's Make a Deal in 1963 to 77. I guess that was her there. Okay, I guess because she's just surrounded by expensive things. Huh? Betty Furness has a little bit more of a storied history. So not only was she an American actress, but also a consumer advocate current affairs commentator and second special assistant to the president for consumer affairs. Interesting. Let's see. Film actress Mama Steps Out 1937. And apparently did a uh, famous commercial for Westinghouse that says you can be sure if it's a Westinghouse. Okay. Well, learning. Trivia. Whee! My moral philosophy. Genius is 1% inspiration, 90% perspiration, and 15% mathematical ability. Wait a minute. Special thanks to Ray Kroc, a man who just dedicated his life to serving patties. Ah, uh, see, I know Ray Kroc. He was the he was the guy who started McDonald's, I think. Ray Kroc. Oh, he didn't start McDonald's, but he joined McDonald's in uh, what the 60s, and then I guess made it into the big thing that it is today. Da 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 da. I guess. There's the company store. There he is, Leisure Suit Larry from the Losers Profiles, which is a a pun on the Doers Profiles, which was a thing at some point in history. So here's Larry Laffer, present day Larry Laffer, Hollywood Hills, California, age 40, software salesman, VP of marketing, videotape eraser, and talent scout. So this is pretty up to date. Good resume, man. Hobbies, walking around, looking at things, picking up objects, trying to score points, and doing Dan Quayle impersonations. Last accomplishment, who me? Nothing. Most memorable books, The Clutch's Guide to Committing Suicide by Ama Goner, The Illustrated Guide to Polyester Fabrics by the editors of Gentle Nerds Quarterly, and How to Say No When You Really Mean Yes. Well, maybe, by Andy Sisif. <laughs> quote, it's truly an honor to be asked to come up with a pithy quote for your advertisement, sir. <laughs> well done. Uh, profile, a man of many contradictions. In fact, all of them exuding an aura of cheap sleaze, slick without being classy. He sees himself as a consummate ladies man, yet rarely does anything to manage to consummate anything at all. He's affable and easygoing, eager to please, loyal, affectionate, and obnoxiously talkative. In fact, he has just about all the same qualities as a peaky knees. Scotch? No, Californian. Ha ha ha. There's not much else to it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's kind of cute because you have items from the company store that you can read. Uh, the size of them. So there's a, a thing called Cold Finger, a true adventure by Mata Harakiri, which I guess is this or maybe a, I don't know, just a cute little story. Continued on page 198 so you can never actually finish it. And that's pretty much it. But, you know, they do have a ad for the Laffer Utilities, which I promised to find and play because I know I have it somewhere on my Larry Collection CD, and God knows where that is as well. But that's it. So, on with the show. We'll see you in Leisure Suit Larry 5 Part 3. So until then, as always, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.